Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. I'm gonna talk about camo. Um, I'm gonna show you a radio and give you some good points and some bad points. A lot of people ask me, what are you doing for camo? Usually I don't tell a lot just because um, camo is important. I don't wanna give things away uh, that our group has come up with for, for their plan. So I don't talk about it a lot, but you need to think about camo and not being in the dark. This is the company, I don't even know how to pronounce that name starts with an R. They contact me and ask me to do a review on their radio. So I could have picked any of their radios, but I picked their cheapest probably, their cheapest radio, and I'll tell you why. I wanted a radio that was so easy to use. I wanted it to be family radio, so anyone could go out and buy it. So these radios I got for a very specific purpose. They're so easy to use. My four-year-old and six-year-old can use these radios. Turn them on, turn the channel, totally understands the concept. And that's what I wanted because a lot of times we need a radio around here, especially when we get bears. We get bears all the time and it's a serious problem here. When you have a dog outside, you got animals, you might have children playing outside. A bear on our property is almost a weekly thing um, and it's, it's a situation we have to deal with living out in the country. So these are so easy. Basically, I'll turn it on. Power on. Power on, it tells you. It also will tell you what channel you're on. I like it because this radio has so many buttons and functions in it. If I don't have my reading glasses, it's like, I can't even see it. It's too complicated for everyday use. These, are, I call them idiot proof. So, turn the radio on. Power on, three. It's on channel three. You can turn the channels, you don't even have to see it, so. One, four, five, and it goes all the way up to 16. The, the only other buttons on it is the push to talk. Um, there's a squelch button, you don't need that one. And then there's a little tiny flashlight that does different things. So I could go without the flashlight and make it even simpler. So my little guys can play with this. So if they're out in the yard, we're playing together, uh, give them a radio and they're good to go. You can commun communicate with them. So it comes with a charger. I like this way, and I don't care if you buy these radios, but the reason I'm trying to get you to get something, I like this radio because it's only a half a watt. Um, you can go up to two watts with the family radios. So I would prefer a radio with a quarter watt, and I'll tell you why. Every time you push that button, people say, oh, I gotta get a 50 watt radio. But every time you push that radio, that signal is going out there and there's people out there that for fun try to find out where people are. It's just a game that ham guys do and gals do. So I want a radio where I can talk just on my perimeter so I can talk to people on the property without blasting my signal out there. So if I could have, I would have got a radio with less power. Uh, these still do really well. Um, you can use them and definitely go a mile easy. We haven't really uh, checked them, but I would prefer one that would only go maybe a quarter mile, to be honest with you. Um, I like these radios compared to the ones you buy at, at Walmart or any big superstore because they got batteries that you can use your USB port and charge them. So all preppers should have a way of charging you know, their phone and this gives you that option without having to go through a ton of double A's or triple A batteries. It also comes with a, a, a mic and an earpiece, but to me it's cool and neat, but really I'm just looking for a radio that I can turn on, Power on. tells me it's 15, on, 13. and I can change the channel instantly so I can use it quicker. These, the company, full disclosure, they sent me three of these. I could have picked a very, uh, all, um, you know, much more expensive radio from them. I didn't. I did this for a reason. Um, and then when I got them, they said on there it was easy to use, and it's so true. It's it's idiot proof. And since then, I ordered four more, and I ordered five wow. extra batteries, because um, this is a radio I'm going to use every day around here, which we do. The the little guys love them, but it's also a radio that I can give to a neighbor. So that's why I got a few extras. I can give it to a neighbor in a crisis situation uh, and they can talk to me. Plus, at three in the morning, this radio is way too complicated. There's buttons on here with just tiny little dots where you can lock the, lock the whole channel thing up down so you can't accidentally turn the channel. And for me, at three in the morning, I can't see that little thing. So, 
this is what I got. So you don't have to buy these radios, but think of your radio plan. If it's as simple as going to Walmart and picking up some of these bubble pack radios um, to get the family radio channels, you need to do it and get some extras. These run like $12 a piece if you buy a pack of four, like 13 if you buy three. So they're very affordable. Um, if not, just go to Walmart, get you some radios. You're gonna have to be able to communicate with people on your property, people in your subdivision. Um, as an infantry guy, it's called shoot, move, and communicate. Shoot, move, and communicate. And this is that part, communicate. You have to be able to communicate. Thanks for watching.